service to our communities. Each week, thousands of establishments all over the UK are visited by pan dog teams. People in establishments such as hospitals, care, special needs schools, hospices and daycare centres benefit from therapeutic visits from these wonderful dogs and their owners. These calm, confident, friendly dogs also help stroke patients with rehabilitation work, people who dog focus, and through uh, the very successful Read to Dogs program work, with children in classrooms helping develop their reading ability and confidence. So let's meet each of the pan dogs in the ring that are with us today. First, we have uh, Ruth Boys with the Airedale, Charlie. Suzanne Reeve with the German Shepherd Cross Husky, Vince. Eileen Hodge with Jack Russell Bodie. Well, just look at those boards and the wonderful, wonderful work that's done up and down the country. A totally different aspect to the world of dogs. Well, now a chance to give them a very big welcome. And let's give a welcome to Ruth Boys with the Airedale Charlie. Following Charlie is Suzanne Reeve with the German Shepherd Husky Cross Vince. Now the turn of the Jack Russell of Eileen Hodge, Bodie. And we have a Labradoodle from Swan Gan Marsh, Alfie. Elaine Cole has a Cocker Spaniel Toasty. We have a Rob Viler. And it is Lyndon Blenkinsop with Cassie. Val Howell has the Labrador Bill. Linda Clark with the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Maisie. The Golden Retriever comes next. The Golden Retriever it, from Carol Cleaver is Murphy. And the Dash Hound, the Dash Hound of Denise Barham and Arthur. And we have a boxer, Anthony Cousins, with his boxer, Mark. And last, but certainly not least, last year's Pat Dog of the Year winner, Anne Burrell with a gorgeous Leon Burger Scrabble. Well, six of these amazing dogs are finalists in the High Life Pad Dog of the Year, the competition for 2013 to 14. So let's meet the six finalists this afternoon. Firstly, we have Pat Dog Charlie, the Airedale owned by Ruth Boys. Charlie is a very busy boy. He has a three-year-old Airedale Terrier who takes part in our Read to Dogs program at a school. He visits two residential homes, Walton Hospital, and two, Her Majesty's Prison of Wilston, where he brings a smile to the faces of all he meets. Ruth said Charlie also now visits a Brentwood Care Home in Leyburn, where he's proving to be so popular. He also accompanies her around Yorkshire, delivering talks on pets as therapy and has led two seminars at the University of Leeds School of Medicine, where he impressed the student doctors with his uh, caring nature. Charlie offers Pensioners a link with normal life. 
and a reminder of the uh, joy and relationship that a pet can bring. It gives them, the prisoners, an incentive to get out and stay out of prison. One inmate said Charlie is brilliant. He's calm, friendly and playful and they love his visits. Charlie makes them happy. Another says Charlie reminds me that life is worth living. Pat Dog Charlie. <laughs> Second, we have Pat Dog Bill, the Labrador owned by Val Howell. Ten-year-old Bill has been busy visiting Hope House Children's Hospice, Clan Bufflin Primary School, Marches School and Lee's Field Nursing Home, bringing joy and companionship to wherever and whoever he meets. Hope House Children's Hospice in Shropshire nominated their friend Bill for this award. The children always look forward to him coming to see them and say we never have the Monday morning blues because we know that Bill is visiting. He loves being stroked, hugged and padded. He even took part in their Christmas pantomime. He greets everyone with his big wet nose and very waggy tail. He brings sunshine and joy into their lives at what can be a very emotional time. Bill also spends time at the Robert Jones and Agnes Hunt Orthopaedic Hospital, where he and five of his canine pals visit the elderly and children's wards, together with the spinal injury unit and the tumour outpatients unit as well. Pat Dog Bill. Third of the six, we have Bodie, the Jack Russell owned by Eileen Hodge. Bodie has been a pat dog now for nearly two years, visiting a nursing home, a school and special needs college to bring joy and comfort to elderly care home residents and children with special needs. At Merton Place Nursing Home, many residents are recovering from strokes. One lady who is bedridden said, Bodie is a little dog with a very big heart. He gives me something to look forward to every week and he makes such a fuss of me, always managing to put a smile on my face. Bodie had a huge impact on the recovery of one stroke patient, visiting several times a week. Over time, the man improved significantly and he also gained comfort from recently losing his own Jack Russell. His wife said, I feel my husband's gratitude, the wonderful gradual mental, mental and physical improvements have really been put down to Bodie's visits and the bond he has made with this adorable dog. He also visits Iskol e Fared on our Read to Dogs program to encourage children to read and help improve their communication skills. Pat Dog Bodie. Fourth up in our finalists, we have Murphy, the Golden Retriever, owned by Carol Cleaver. Murphy is nearly 12 and has been a pat dog since he was 18 months old. Visiting uh, Yatemean Hospital and Hayes Residential Home for 10 years now. He's also helped a lady overcome her dog phobia. Big hearted Murphy had many nominations, mentioning his dedication and soft, gentle, calming nature. At Yatemean Hospital, they say he's much loved by us all and we see eyes lighting up and smiles on faces as he gently goes from one person to another, never leaving anyone out. At Hayes, they say the impact Murphy has on residents is such a positive one, they come alive when they see him, and he's such an incredible personality and works so hard to please. He instinctively knows who may need a little more on that day. Our patients benefit greatly from his visits. Carol says he brings joy and laughter to residents and he gives comfort to those who are nearing the end of their lives. One very poorly resident held her hand on Murphy's head. She said, his eyes are looking into my soul. It was as if she had waited for his visit as the next time he came, she had passed away. Pat Dog Murphy. The fifth finalist is Toasty, the Cocker Spaniel, owned by Elaine Cole. Toasty is a busy girl. She works with stroke patients, visits a children's hospice, and was nominated by the Boreham Wood Child and Family Clinic for her exophobic work with one special girl. The girl's parents say Toasty has a calm, beautiful nature. Our daughter's se severe fear of dogs meant she wasn't even able to walk to school. 
Indeed, on one occasion, she nearly had a serious road accident by running away from a dog. Over 18 months, Toasty gradually calmed this girl's fear, and she can now brush and walk her. Her parents said, wonder dog Toasty has made our girl what she is today. And the child? Well, she says, Toasty helped me so, so much. I'm glad I met her. I now want to help others overcome their fears too. Toasty is involved in the Stroke and Pat Project, which is a rehabilitation therapy program, incorporating pat dogs to offer highly innovative and motivating opportunities to help stroke survivors in their recovery. Pat Dog Toasty, challenger number five. And the sixth finalist is Mark the Boxer, owned by Anthony Cousins. Five-year-old Mark has been a pat dog for over three years and is treasured by uh, Scope Rosewarn, a care home where he's made friends with the residents who have a, a variety of disabilities. Rosewarn say Mark has an insight to their needs and emotions. He really does have a special gift. Mark also works on our Read to Dogs program at two schools. At a Logan school in Cornwall, one child said, I love reading to Mark. He just listens to me and is so friendly. The teachers say pupils enjoy his involvement so much and they really want to finish reading their books. He visits Kerno School twice a week and patiently sits and listens while the children read him stories. Mark is so valued at the school that the head teacher has created the Mark Awards, which are given out to pupils who make significant progress or achievement in the sessions during each term. Tony said Mark loves his visit to the schools. As well as being involved with the Read to Dogs program, he's also spending time with one pupil in a bid to help him overcome his anxiety of dogs. Our sixth finalist, Pat Dog Mark. Well, we've now met a handful of over 5,000 Pat Dogs presently working all over the UK. In the 31 years since Pantsers Therapy began, over 28,000 dogs have passed their assessment to become pat dogs. It's hard to imagine just how many people have had their lives changed for the better by one of these dogs over the years, isn't it? Hundreds of thousands of people have benefited over the past 31 years from the comfort, companionship offered to them unconditionally by these totally amazing dogs. Why can't we give them a huge round of applause for this wonderful charity and the remarkable Pat Dogs and their owners? Well, we're delighted now to welcome one of the guests that comes every year. We're always delighted to see her to present the High Life Pat Dog of the Year Awards. Please welcome actress and TV celebrity Pam St. Clements. Together with uh, Tony Parkinson, the Managing Director of High Life, Valerie McConnell, the Editor of Yours Magazine, and Lisa Coles, the Chief Executive of Pets as Therapy. Together with the uh, votes from the Celebrity Panel, Yours Magazine readers voted in their thousands to find the 2013-14 High Life Pack Dog of the Year. The five runners-up will receive a cheque for £100, a month's supply, of High Life dog food, a trophy, certificate and rosette. And the winner, well, they receive a cheque of £500, three months supply of High Life dog food, along with the trophy, certificate and rosette. And many thanks to uh, Valerie McConnell and Yours Magazine for partnering with the uh, organisation to run this prestigious comedy, and to Tony Parkinson and High Life for their generous sponsorship. It just brings so much wonderful warmth and excitement. Thank you very much indeed. So give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Barry McConnell, Yours Magazine, Tony Parkinson, and High Life. Well, now to the awards themselves, and in no particular order, the five runners up. And first is Bodie, the Jack Russell, belonging to Eileen Hodge, who's visiting uh, a nursing home, a school, a college, to bring joy and comfort to elderly care home residents and children. Also one of the runners-up is Murphy, the golden retriever belonging to Carol Cleaver. <laughs> Murphy, the golden retriever, he visits 
a hospital, dementia unit and a residential care home. And for the past 10 years, he's given so much joy to the dementia payments and the elderly. Murphy, the golden retriever, and Carol Cleaver. Also uh, a runner-up is Mark, the boxer belonging to Anthony Cousins. He visits a residential home and two schools where he ta takes part in the Read to Dogs. Hard to imagine a boxer being involved in Reading to Dogs, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. Congratulations. Such a tremendous competition for these awards. And to Toasty, the Cocker Spaniel, belonging to Elaine Cole, another of the runners-up who visits a hospice, a care home, works with straight survivors, and visits a child and family clinic. She's helped one particular girl overcome that dog phobia. And that really has been a tremendous result. Congratulations to Elaine Cole and Cocker Spaniel. They're getting into the final six. And the final runner-up is Bill, the Labrador belonging to Val Howell. Visits a children's hospice, takes part in the Read to Dogs at two schools, and at last with nursing home, bringing uh, such joy and companionship to everyone he meets. Only oh, shy. Come on, Bill. <laughs> Let's hope it's a day that Bill and Val will really remember. Congratulations then to Val Howell. And the last of our runner is up, Bill the Labrador. And now, and now the moment we've all been waiting for, the 2013 to 2014 highlight, Pad Dog of the Year. It's Pad Dog Charlie, the Airedale, belonging to Ruth Boys. Charlie visits Walton Hospital, that prison, a school, and where they enjoy in the prison too. The school and two residential homes, where he brings a smile to the faces of all he meets. Give them a very big hand. Such congratulations to Pat Dog Charlie, the Airedale, and Ruth Boys. What a competition it has been from 2013 to 2014. Again, some wonderful stories. And these dogs are just such fabulous animals. And really the work they do is unbelievable and never ending. Such joy. So congratulations to Pad Dog, Pad Dog Charlie. And there's gonna be uh, huge celebrations. So, uh, we come now to the uh, round of applause and the fanfare for the Lab of Honour. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, we've just heard about some of the wonderful work done by this community-based charity. If you want to know more about the life-enhancing work they do, please uh, visit their stand. It's number 188 in all four. The staff and volunteers will be more than happy to provide information about the types of work they do and establishments they visit, as well as the different ways that uh, it can all work. It really is amazing, and uh, it really is such support for the charity. So, uh, an enormous thank you to our presentation party, who, uh, along with this year's winner, are now going to pose for a few photos before we go on that lap of honour. And as our runners up and now they're sleep, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a huge hand. It's been a such a great year for Pat. Pat dogs really have uh, brought some wonderful stories.
Well, it certainly looks as if Charlie is enjoying the occasion. And a very big uh, thank you again to Pam and Clement for coming and present these uh, very prestigious awards. And let's send the winner away for 2013-2014 with the uh, rapturous applause of the LJ Arena in their ears. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Airedale, Pad Dog Charlie and Ruth Boys that will be making the headlines. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, International Saturday on this Super Saturday. Are you enjoying yourselves? Oh, now, come on, that's not half good enough for Crufts. 